Oh, you, you can see my nipples in the shirt, my bosoms. Nobody touches my bosom. <laughs> Hey guys! Hey it's Zayners! Today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm doing another advice video. I know they're very rare, but I'm going to be doing it. Today we are going to talk about what to do if you run into an ex. Now, why did I think about doing this? Because in the past two days I've run into two different exes. One I'm civil slash friends with, and the other bad terms. So I thought it was a good time to talk about it. Just to talk about what you do. Let's jump into what you do if you run into an ex that you're friends with. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you end it on good terms, um, you know, don't ignore them. Be nice, say hi, maybe do a little small talk. If you end it on good terms, then there shouldn't be anything awkward about running into your ex because you're on good terms. So you can be civil, you can be friendly, you can be like, hey, how you doing, how's your day? Do a little small talk, ask about how they're doing, if you haven't talked in a while. So that's pretty self-explanatory. The majority of my exes, I'm still friends with slash civil slash good terms with. Now, let's say you run into an ex that you did not end with good terms. Um, my advice is really ignore the shit out of them. It can basically, I know if if my ex is around that I'm not friends with, they'll be like, okay, so and so is in my vicinity. He is somewhere around here. Maybe some methods as to how to avoid contact, all eye contact or communal contact, any contact in general. Basically what I do if I see them and they don't see me, but I have seen them and I know that we go cross paths. A couple methods. Number one method, fake texting. Phone, I'm on my phone, and basically, I just act like I'm texting. I pull up the keypad and I just, I text away. I'll camp it up, I'll be like, <laughs> and then I'll just keep going. Or, what's also fun, if you wanna fuck with them because they fucked you in your relation. Reword that, because they were just not a good partner. You have you on the phone. Method two, fake phone conversation. But make sure your silence is, your phone's silent, because you don't want to have a fake phone call and then get a phone call. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to have it to your ear and then your phone be ringing when you're passing your ex or in the area. Fake phone call. Talking to anyone. Any story. Hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm so good. No way. Way. Oh, Toad's coming. I will totally see you there. But can't because I'm seeing I'm seeing Brendan. Who's Brendan? Um, my boyfriend. <laughs> Girl, it's been a month, but I think I'm in love. You know, that's what you That's what you can do. Or just not acknowledge them. Look away. You can do the iPhone, iPod trick, you know, you're picking out a song, or you just pick out a song as you pass in them. No eye contact in general. Or, as in by them, and they make eye contact with you, or you accidentally lock eyes. What you can do is slightly shift your vision so it passes them, and then wave at an imaginary person, or just someone behind them. So let's say we're walking, and... You're looking at me, and you're my ex-boyfriend that I did not end good terms on. I'm walking, and I happen to look up, and you're looking at me, and you basically shift to behind them, and go, <gasps> and maybe walk a little faster and be like, how are you doing? And you get the fuck out of there. So, that's some of my advice. You guys do, this is what I do. There's, are these good methods? Share me, tell me some of yours. Maybe yours are better, and I can really use some of that, because... That, don't, that shit don't fly with me. But uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh, hey. How you doing? I haven't seen you in like two years. I'm doing good. You obviously are. You've put on weight. You need a haircut. What is this outfit? Do something. Do better. Hashtag it.